So the way I look at it is data is the what. This next phase of IoT needs to be about the so what and the now what. Let's start off by uh, letting us know your name and just a quick background. Sure. So I'm Monisha Prakash, co-founder and CEO of Lumo Body Tech. And tell us a little bit about Lumo Body Tech. So Lumo Body Tech is a wearables company that specializes in movement intelligence. So we use sensor technologies and algorithms to track human body movements uh, to a very fine degree of resolution and we provide people with actionable feedback so that they can move better so think posture yoga running golf physical therapy any activity that requires proper form movement and biomechanics lumo is well positioned to help people with now how do you see yourselves against you, know, you have people like uh, athos which have got the uh, performance body wear, you've got wearables, traditional wearables. Where do you see yourself in that combination of companies? So Lumo is very focused on movement intelligence, um, looking at form and biomechanics. Um, we create technologies and solutions that are very easy to wear. So for example, Lumo Lift, it's a small uh, lapel pin that attaches to your shirt via a magnet when you slouch. It vibrates to remind you to straighten up. Um, Lumo Run is a tiny little clip that you attach to the waistband of your shorts, and it provides lab quality feedback on your running form. So pretend that you're, go you're on a run and the a coach is running alongside you watching your form and telling you in real time with specificity about how modifications to your form could actually yield better results, whether it's to run faster or farther or to prevent the risk of injury or to reduce the risk of injury. Um, that is what Lumo delivers through its products. How was this, how was this developed? I mean, it sounds pretty unique. So how, how did you get to this? So the original um, idea came from my co-founder, Andrew, his, and his struggle with back pain. Uh, he had such debilitating back pain that there were days he just couldn't even get out of bed. And um, because I'm married to a spine and sports physician, I know how important, back, um, how important posture is for back pain. And so I suggested to Andrew that he take posture classes to help him with his back pain. And they were literally life-changing. Um, you know, they just, he was able to be a lot more functional and could get to a point where he now knows how to manage his back pain quite well. And the key insight there was, were two things. One, posture and back pain are scientifically linked. And two, the hardest part about posture is awareness. It's remembering, right? Especially in today's day-to-day -day life where we get so engrossed into our gadgets and our computers and our devices and um, we simply just don't have that awareness. And so we, we challenged ourselves to say, okay, well, what could we, what solution could we deliver that helps people to be more aware um, so that they can improve their posture and so that we can help the millions of people around the world that have back pain. So that was the beginning of Lumo, but even then, we knew that what we were creating was a company that was about more than posture and back pain. We were creating a company that was about movement intelligence and helping people have greater mindfulness of their body um, with real-time actionable feedback so that they could be better at whatever they were striving to do, whether it was running or yoga or the office worker for proper lifting and bending or somebody in physical therapy, right? These are all activities that require, require proper form and biomechanics. And that's what we decided we wanted Lumo to be really great at. Well, it's great you're talking about all the, the extensibility of this, and it sounds like you're building, as much of a product, you're building a platform as well. Uh, where do you see that going? 
also. That's exactly right. We have created a very robust platform for movement intelligence. And today we're focused on our consumer products such as Lumo Lift and Lumo Run. Um, and tomorrow we see Lumo powering a variety of products, whether it's shirts or eyewear or belts or shoes. Um, we see a day where sensors will be integrated into your everyday life and into your everyday habits through the clothes that you wear. And we see Lumo powering a lot of those products and uh, it's really our movement intelligence that will be embedded within those products. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's when you first start talking about it, it sounds like a, a B2C, traditional B2C product, but then you think about how companies could use this to lower injuries on factory floors and in manual labor, and you can see a whole other world of products opening up with this. That's exactly right. We're passionate. At our core, we're passionate about solving real problems and helping as many people as we can. And so our path for doing that is to focus on our differentiating technologies, uh, which are the algorithms and the data and the insights that we're able to give people from the data, and work with other companies um, to help make it available to their customers. So absolutely, we see a pathway to having more of a powered by Lumo model one day. Right, and, and that's great for your partners, but of course part of being part of an, an ecosystem, which we're all becoming part of, is also opening up your platform to developers. Where, what are you thinking about in, that, in those terms? Absolutely. You know, we have an API as well as SDK. We already integrate with a number of um, partners, such as MyFitnessPal and Validic, um, and, you know, there are many other, others underway. That's great. Um, wh where do you see Lumo in three years? So I see Lumo being synonymous with movement intelligence and being sort of the technology Gore-Tex, if you will, of things that you wear. And that any time um, a product, if it makes sense for that product to track your movements and form, that Lumo would be the technology inside in enabling that capability. That's very cool, I love it. Um, one of the last questions, we gotta ask everybody this question at the end. Um, what does, what does IOT mean to you? So IOT, Internet of Things, it, it means to me a little bit of what I was talking about before, right? Like, I think technology is most successful when it's invisible, right? When it's passively in the background, collecting the information that it needs to, and it's only when you want it, when you want to turn it on, it's available to you. And it's available to you in a way that's not just about data, right? Because we are drowning in data. Um, the last thing we need is more data. It's available to you in a way that provides meaningful insights and actionable feedback, right? So the way I look at it is data is the what. This next phase of IoT needs to be about the so what. And the now what? And that is what Lumo is very focused on, is answering the so what and the now what. Well, it's great you talk about that, that data exhaust that all these IoT devices throw out. And another company we interviewed said that they see the key to IoT being balance, to uh, finding that place where it's invisible and yet helpful and it's not drowning you in either data or notifications. That's right. That's right. And again, it boils down to solving real problems that people care about, right? And if our solutions and other solutions in this space, if we do a good job of providing enduring value for the user, uh, meaning it's not only valuable on day one and week one and month one, but it continues to have value in month six and month 12 and in year two, right? Uh, because the solution evolves with you as a human, because as a human you're always evolving, and your life circumstances are evolving, your behaviors change, your health changes, your environment changes, and the interplay of those things, to the extent that we can really help people understand the interplay of those things and pro deliver actionable feedback and insights, that is when we're providing that enduring value. And once we've provided that enduring value, it'll be a no-brainer, right? So in the vision of Lumo Run, a runner wouldn't even think about going for a run without our Lumo Run on them because they would feel like, gosh, I'm missing out on all these tremendous insights and feedback that, you know, I I, I, you know, that I could get through Lumo Run, and if I don't, I'm going to miss out. So that, that's what we have to deliver. That's what all the companies have to deliver. 
Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much. And uh, are you going to be at WWC? Yes, I will. Fabulous. We'll see you there then. Looking forward to it.